Hello everyone, it's me Mandy with Read Woven Dreams and today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet which I call the Open Squares Bracelet. Um, it is um, it's basically my own little pattern, my own little um, experiment that turned out really well. And um, as you can see here, I have it in two versions. I have it here with the Tyla beads and I also have it here with checkmates. And basically to me, checkmates and Tylers are exactly the same bead. Um, it's just that Tylers are a little bit flatter. Uh, the edges are definitely sharper. Checkmates, a little bigger, a little fatter, and the, um, the edges are rounder. But basically it's it, it's just, it's, um, you know, two whole square beads. So you can do this with both checkmates and Tyler beads. Um, and I have all of the materials listed um, for um, uh, the bracelet if you want to do it with Tylos or Checkmates. And there is going to be a difference because the Checkmates are bigger than the Tyla beads. Uh, but basically you'll need, um, uh, if you're, I'm doing it with Tylos today, but we're going to need uh, 40 Tyla beads, um, 128 seed beads, and 22 of the fire polish um, fire polish round in three millimeter and then one tube clasp. If you're doing it with Tylos, you need a, a two strand tube clasp. However, if you're doing it with Checkmates, you'll need a three strand tube clasp. But to, uh, for this tutorial, we're just only gonna do work with Tylos. Um, Tylos, does anyone know if it's Tila or Tyla? <laughs> Someone let me know, please. I've been working with uh, these beads for about two years, I've been working in a bead store for two years, and still I have absolutely no idea which one it is. <laughs> Um, but today we're only going to work with Tyla beads, and um, if you're wondering why this one isn't uh, finished, <laughs> I really do like it. Um, it's because I ran out of this particular color of uh, the fire polish rounds, and I keep forgetting to um, order more every time I'm working there. Um, but I really do want to finish this. It's it's really pretty. Um, also, as a variation in this particular um, sample here, we're doing all. 11-0 seed beads in this sample we're actually doing this is 11-0 seed bead which is the uh, Duracoat galvanized light smoky pewter and then this is the Duracoat dark sea foam green which is a size 15 and you can see how I alternated it and I'm do be doing the same thing here um, with the uh, metallic green Tylas uh, this is a bronze lined uh, peridot and then this is a uh, green patina bronze and so I'll just show you how to do that. Basically, it's it's the pattern, depending on if you're doing with 15s and 11s or all 15s, is the same. Also, another variation, and I do cover this in um, my uh, post blog post with the free pattern. I'll have that in the description below. Um, you can have either the beads pointing outwards. That second bead, you can have it pointed outwards, or you can have it pointing inwards. Like I did here so it's basically left up to you so we're going to get these two samples out of our way we're going to get started okay so in the pattern I do mention that you'll need about two and a half yards of thread but I'm just going to work with just this little amount here because um, it's just for a tutorial so I don't need the full uh, amount so what I'm going to do is I am going to thread on so you do one Tila, three seed beads. If you're doing all 11s, you would do 11s, but in this sample here, I'm doing a 15, 11, 15, but it's still three seed beads. One Tila, three seed beads. One Tila, three seed beads, one Tila, and three seed beads. And I'm gonna bring that down a little bit, my thread here. And again, um, if you're doing all 11s, 
then it will just be Tyla seed beads, Tyla seed beads, Tyla seed beads, but I'm doing 15s and 11, so it's Tyla. Still, again, still the same three seed beads, but it's just 15, 11, 15, Tyla, 15, 11, 15, and so forth. So we want to make sure we have four Tyla beads and four groups of three seed beads. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie a knot between the last seed bead and the first Tyla bead. Well, actually, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to tie a knot because this is, I'm not going to, um, I think I'm going to finish this. This is just for demonstration. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and skip that part. And I'm going to, with my needle, because I'm coming out of this seed beads here, I'm going to go back through the first teal I picked up. I'm going to pull. And so basically you've made a loop. Now what you want to do is we're going to come out of the 11L. We're going to skip the 15L and we're going to enter the next 11L. Sorry, next 15 now. So enter, exit 15 now, skip 11 now, enter 15 now. And if you're doing this with all 11s, then you would just one, skip two, three. That's it. And we're going to do the same thing all the way around. Fifteen now. Number bead number one. Skip two. Under bead number three. I'm going to go ahead and pass through the tie line going through the next 15 out. <laughs> and this pattern I have that's listed on my blog, um, it's free. It's a free pattern, so you can download it. So you'll have the pattern and this video tutorial to go together. Sorry, I went out of frame there. Going around, coming out of the 15, that first seed bead, skipping the second, going into the third. Pulling. You don't have to pull too tight. Um, I know when we're working um, with a lot of different um, stitches and beadwork, you want to have really good tension. Um, this, you don't have to worry about tension too much. You don't have to worry about pulling it too tight. Now, as you see here, we've got two beads that want to stand on the outside and two want to go in on the inside. Um, if you want them to go on the inside, that's fine. You would just kind of take your needle and just kind of take that second bead and kind of push it in. But in this case, we want them to go outside, so I'm going to make sure they go on the outside and just take my needle, kind of encourage it to go in the right spot. Same thing here. And once I have them pointed out, there we go. And so now we have our first open square, which is pretty much the same thing here show you the difference between the two. Beads in the way. Mm -hmm. You have um, the 11 up pointing in. In this case, you have it pointed out. But it's just where you place this um, the thread. If you want the beads to point out, you make sure that the thread is on the inside of the loop. And if you want the um, the beads, to, yeah, if you want the beads to point in, you have the thread to go on the outside of the loop. So I like here have it on the outside, here have it on the inside. So that's basically, I'm gonna do it again one more time. So we're coming out of 11.0. I'm gonna go down through, I'm sorry, the 15.0. Skip that second beat, the 11.0. Go down through the 15.0.
get my needle in there. <laughs> and I'm not going to go through the next 15. I'm going to come out through the tile like I just did right here. So, and then we're going to go up through the tile. Eleven. I want to kind of play around there a little bit. Okay. And then I'm gonna do the, the same pick up the bait, same bead sequence, but this time I'm starting with the seed beads, and I'm gonna end with the seed beads, and we're only going to pick up three tyler beads because we'll be sharing this um this bead here will be sharing the unit will be sharing this bead so kind of like right angle weave a little bit just a little so here we go 15 0 tyla or one two three tyla My beads rolled everywhere. <laughs> One, two, three, Tyla. Break up three Tylas, and now we're just going to end with the seed beads. One, eleven oh, number three, fifteen oh. We're going to to come down, we're going to make a loop and re-enter Tyler that we exited. We're going to pull. Now we've made our loop. And we're going to do the same thing as we did before. Entering and exiting one, skipping two, Entering three, Tyla, exiting one, skipping two, making sure our thread is on the inside of the loop. If the bead wants to go in, just give it a little gentle encouragement. like so and one more you can see I'm exiting one skipping two entering three and the Tyler okay so now we have our two squares here and basically what you do is you'll just take your needle and you'll come all the way around until um, you exit this hole in the tile here loop up and then start on another loop start another unit just like that and then you'll continue to keep going these colors together are very pretty Alright, so now I'm going to move this out of the way. And if you're wondering, I'm actually um, thinking of using either a light blue or a little darker blue fire polish round. Either that color or that color in between the tiles. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Move our beads out of the way here. The beads that I spilled. My little bead emergency. Okay. 
And I'm going to bring in this one. So this one here is one I had already um, started yesterday. This is a gift for a friend. And in this version here, you can see I'm doing all 11 O's. And it might look like the squares are a little closer. Um, the silver squares here. And actually they are. With the checkmates, you can actually see that square pattern you're making with the seed beads much better, much better because um, the checkmates are bigger. But with the Tylas, it's much smaller. So the square pattern is going to be a little closer, which is fine. No, no, no. Hello, Fiona. That little chirp you just heard is my cat. <laughs> and there she is. <laughs> Come on, move your paw. This is my first YouTube video and she's making her debut. <laughs> okay, so now I'm back. <laughs> All right, so Fiona has found a nice little um, a nice little spot to sunbathe and she's pretty much got nice and warm and toasty and is now taking a nap so now I can continue with my work. <laughs> Alrighty, so what we're going to do now, um, again we're going to start filling in the gaps of our, um, in between each of the tile beads here and in this instance uh, we're going to do something a little different. Now here Again, because we're using um, checkmates, the beats are a little bit wider. So we can do all 11s um, with the fire polish rounds here to fill in the gaps and it works just fine. However, it's the space between each of the gap, uh, the, the tiles here and the gaps, they're not as wide. Um, so what we're going to do, we're not going to do um, all 11 O's. I'm going to do a 15 O, 11 O, checkmate, 11 O, 15 O, and I'll show you how to do that. But on the sides here, I'm going to do um, 11 O. So I'm going to show you how to do that, and then we're going to go all the way down the bracelet, and then we're going to attach our clasp, okay? All right, so I'm going to pick up two 11 O's. Fire polish round, three millimeter two 11 O's. Okay. Now we're coming out of our Tyla bead right here as if we're going to add um, another another unit. We've come out of our seed beads on this side. We've come out of the Tila. We didn't exit this next seed bead. We just looped up to the next available hole in the Tyla. So that's what we're doing here and we are going to stitch through this tile right here. So we're going to fill in the corner like so. Like that. Make a nice little corner. And then again, because of the spacing between um, the tile beads, we're going to pick up one 11 -0. I'm sorry, 115 0, 11 0. Fire polish round, 11 0. 15 0. Like so. And we are going to go all the way down. Then we're going to fill in a gap. And then I will show you what's next. So let me go ahead and do that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. And now you can see I filled in all the gaps on one side. And now we're going to add our clasp. So now we're on the corner edge here. I'm going to pick up two 11 O's, one fire polish, and two 11 O's. And I'm going to go through this tile right here. 
I want on a corner. This is where things are going to get a little tricky. Just a little. We're going to go through the tiler right here. Now we're going to go through this bead right here, the very next seed bead on the loop. So I go through right here. Like so. And this is where we bring in our tube clasp. There is good. Then we're going to go through the loop. Go through the seed bead. Just that one. Hi again. I see you're back. Did you enjoy your nap, Fiona? And then I'm going to do that one more time. We're going through the loop and through the seed bead. I like to do three on each side. So you see how that fits nice and neatly in there? If you're seeing a little shadow that just came in, that's Fiona again. She really loves to help me be, doesn't she? <laughs> Alright, so now you see here the clasp is on the inside of those beads. You, the loop is on the inside. You don't even see the loop. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So now what we're going to do... Uh-oh. I'm getting my needle, and here she comes. <sighs> Three, two... One, scoop the kitty, move the kitty. All right. All right, so what we're going to do now, where is my... See how we're coming out of the um, seed bead here? I'm actually, we don't really want to do that. What we kind of want to do... Oh, let's see, hold on. Oh, I know. What we can do is make a loop Stitch through the loop, and then this time we're just going to go through the tyla. Sorry about that, came too close to the lens there. We're going to pull through. It's going on the inside. So now we've exited Tyla. Now we want to go through that seed bead, the very first one after the Tyla. And this all seems kind of complicated and a little tricky, but don't worry. Um, the steps are actually covered on um, on my pattern in the pattern on my blog, and it's a PDF. Um, that you can download and save, so it's not um, web-based, it is a PDF. I'm going to... So I've made a loop. I'm going to... Made a loop around the loop. <laughs> I'm going to stitch... Uh, let's see if I can get my needle on there. There we go. Come to the loop again. Come up through that seed bead. And then I'm going to go through that loop again. This time I'm just going to go up 
through the top hole of the tile bead. I'm going to come through. Now we're filling in a corner. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up one, two, eleven O's, one fire polish, one, two, eleven O's. And we're just going to go through the next Tila around the corner, fill in that gap there. All right. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to continue filling, filling in our gaps. This little tail end right here, we won't need it. So if you want to, um, we did tie knots um, in the first loop. So if you want to go ahead and stitch this through your work and tie it off wherever you like, you can. That's fine. But what we're going to do, now that the first part of the clasp is on, we're going to stitch all the way down, filling in our gaps with our 15 11-0 check, I mean, fire polish, 11 15-0, all the way down until we get to the other end, and then we're going to touch the other end of the clasp the exact same way. And like I said, when you're done, that clasp, the loops of the clasp will be nice and tucked behind those beads. And finish it off. It will look like this. That's exactly how it would look. And yeah. I really like these colors actually. My friend, she said she likes, um, she likes black. So I wanted to make her a, um, a nice gift uh, with black beads, but it's not completely dark. There's silver in there, so the galvanized pewter. And then the 15 O's are actually um, permanent finish um, silver. Uh, so I think she'll really like this a lot. So there you go. That is the open squares bracelet. Very easy. And feel free to download the pattern so you have all the instructions. And I hope you enjoy um, making this bracelet. And I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.